Welcome to the second video in the video series Sorting Bricks Door. In this video we will be focusing on the preferences or settings of Bricks Door, how to set them up. In the previous video we've covered the installation of Bricks Door and uh, connecting Bricklink to it. If you haven't watched that yet, do check it out. If we go to Extras, Settings, we get the pop-up window for the settings. I will be focusing on the General tab and the Interface tab for this video. At first, we can choose which language we want the software to be in. You can choose from English, German, Spanish and French. My preference is English. For the weight, we can choose the metric system or the imperial system. The default currency, we can choose a variety of currencies, all up to your preference and localization. The document directory is the directory where the brick store files or the BSX files will be saved standard. You can change that up. For parting out items, we've got several settings. One of them is Ask the User. That's my preference. But you can all also speed up the process by setting always replace the items being parted out into the same document. Or choose to part out to a no document. See what you like. I prefer Ask the User as when you click the inventory button on a set, you can always choose to include instructions, the extra parts, etc. But that will be covered in the third video when we will be parting out a set to upload to Bricklink. For the on export setting, we can choose whether or not we would like to open a web browser directly to Bricklink when you choose to update or upload items. I think it's a quality of life feature, so I've got it turned on. For the on startup setting, you can choose whether or not you want to open the last opened documents from a previous session. The modification setting lets you choose whether or not you want to see visual changes when you modify the document. I personally don't really like it, but do check it out. It might be something you do like. For the on crashes setting, I've got that turned on. It will send an anonymous crash report to the developers so they can improve the software. My recommendation is to turn it on so the software gets better and better. Then we go to the interface tab. For the team, we can choose between the dark mode. That's what I've currently got selected. Let's switch it up to light mode. We got to restart the software for that. And as you can see, the light mode is uh, pretty bright. So yeah, it's not my preference, but some of you might like it. So check it out. I'm going to put it back to dark mode real quick. Then the other settings is we can change the icon size, the font size and the item image size. And that's all up to what you like. I personally have it on about 80% or even 100%, my bad. <laughs> and for me, it's good enough, but you always can make it bigger or smaller. This concludes this video of the brick store settings. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll check you out in the next video. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.